Hi guys, Drew Brashler with DBB Audio. Today I am here again with the Behringer X32 and we're gonna be looking at the X-Tech EQ1, which is in effect inside the effects rack of the Behringer X32. Now this is an emulation of the Poltec EQP1A, which is a program equalizer that was made back in 1951 by a company called Pulse Technologies. Now, when they made it, it was a three band tube amplified program equalizer. Now, what I mean by program equalizer is this is an EQ that we would insert on a bus or the main bus as more of a polishing tool for the final mix. Now, let's go ahead and hop in on, uh, on the screen here and check out what we can do with this thing. Okay, so first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit the effects button. And I'm gonna go ahead and place this on effects rack eight. So we're gonna use our right rotary knob and rotate this until we get the selector down to FX eight. We're gonna go ahead and use this rotary knob here to turn this until we find the EQ one, which is gonna be right here. Now I'm gonna use the stereo one because I am going to insert this on my main left right bus for this demonstration. So once we have this selected, why don't I go ahead and press set. So once you depress that, then this is saved into this effect rack. Now we use the insert rotary knobs on the left hand side, and we're gonna go ahead and select main left right. So we're gonna scroll this all the way until we get main LR. So once we select that, then we can go ahead and insert this. Now, one thing to note, check out the blog post on dbbaudio.com about this because there is a slight delay, a 0.71 millisecond, which is really small, but there's also a slight EQ curve that's applied when you insert this. Even with all the settings flat, it rolls off the low end back down in like the 20, 30 hertz area, and it also rolls off the high end up in like the 20 to 18 kilohertz area as well. But over the entire band, there is a slight boost of 0.85 dB when you just insert this EQ. So go check that out, and I have some smart, um, some smart measurements that I went ahead and posted up on there. So once we've inserted this, we can go ahead and press edit. There is a one and a two down here, so to get to the second layer, we go ahead and use the layer button to kind of hop between these. So on our first layer, we have our gain knob, which is right here. Um, now we can adjust the gain up and down by 12 decibels, and it goes in half decibel increments on this. Uh, the second set of knobs is our low boost and low attenuation. Now the low boost and the low attenuation are dependent on what the low frequency is set to. So we have four settings on the low frequency, 20, 30, 60, and 100 hertz. Now it is suggested not to boost and attenuate at the same time. However, the low attenuation actually affects a different range of frequencies than the low boost. So you can use the boost and the attenuation at the same time to kind of sculpt an interesting EQ curve. The low boost, I found that if you set this down about 30 hertz, uh, that you can get a nice little boost in the low end, but then the attenuation is right where the muddiness is in the mix. So we'll go ahead and show that to you here a little bit later. But these three knobs right here are dedicated to this. Now, Transformer basically is an emulation of what the original sounded like. Uh, if you disengage the Transformer, the low end will come back uh, by a little bit. The low end rolls off just a smidge when the Transformer is turned on. You can check out the smart measurements on my blog. Now, let's go ahead and hop over to layer two. So layer two gives us our high width, high boost, high frequency, and high attenuation, and an attenuation select. So with these knobs, I'm gonna show you in just a triangle. So right here, our high boost, high bandwidth, and high frequency are all dedicated to one adjustment. So the high boost is dependent on the high frequency. The high bandwidth is just able to have us sculpt how wide or how narrow we want our high frequency boost to be. The high attenuation is um, selected between, by the attenuation selector. And there's three adjustments. So we have 20 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, and five kilohertz. On the high frequency adjustment, we have three all the way to 16. 
Now, the original Poltec EQP-1A was really known for bringing an airiness into the mix, and that's up in the 16K. So if we go to high frequency and dial that into 16K and put in a nice high boost in here, that was kind of what this, this EQ was really known for, is just adding that really nice airiness into it. Now the high boost and the high attenuation, they can be used together, and some people will often use those together to kind of sculpt that sound that they really want. Um, so you can do a very high boost and a little bit of an attenuation on this. So make sure you check out the smart measurements to kind of see what those different things do. So let's go ahead and uh, play some music through this and actually hear what this thing can do. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the low boost and the low attenuation together first. So let's go ahead and get some music going here. Now I am going to um, keep this at 30 hertz. Uh, if you check out the smart measurements, you'll notice that uh, if you have this up at 100, the actual curve starts much higher up in like the 700 hertz rather than lower in the 100 hertz. Um, so we're going to keep this nice and low in the 30 and give a little generous boost here. Not too much to go into clipping though. And we're going to go ahead and attenuate. So it's really interesting, and sorry I'm clipping up here, it's really interesting listening to how we can boost and the attenuation at the same time and kind of give a little bit of an interesting EQ curve on this. Um, now let's go ahead and check out the airiness side up in the treble. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hit layer two, and we have our high boost and our high attenuation, so let's go ahead and check those out right now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and attenuate at five kilohertz just to let you hear this. Okay. And our high frequency, we have our boost here. And then our width is right here to give us a wider width. So let's go ahead and add in some brightness here. transformer button is uh, so subtle that you really need to just look at the measurements. But let's go ahead and press that. So another thing that we can do is we can actually make a high-end boost by using the low attenuation. So let's go ahead and zero this out here real quick, and we are going to go back to uh, the first layer here, and we're gonna have our low frequency set at 100, um, which is actually a very significant um, cut out of all of the low and mid frequencies. And then we're just gonna go ahead and attenuate this as we're listening to it. And as I'm attenuating, I'm also going to bring the gain up to kind of compensate for that low end roll off. Now this is just a normal EQ, so you can boost or cut the frequencies that you want to as long as they're within the low boost or low cut uh, area or the high boost or high attenuation area that you have in this, uh, in this effect. There isn't much difference to using our EQ1 versus the standard EQ that's built into the board. 
um, but it's just another way of getting a slightly different sound as there is a sound to this that's a little bit more quote unquote vintage sounding than using the standard EQ. Uh, but you could use the standard EQ to replicate something like this by rolling off the highs, rolling off the lows a little bit, and then doing your EQ from there. But this is just a little bit easier way of getting to that sound than using the standard EQ. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in on this tutorial on the XTEC EQ1. It's just another tool that we can use in our arsenal of stuff to really sculpt that sound that we're wanting to get out of the Behringer X32. Now make sure you check out the, um, the blog post that I put up on my blog, dbbaudio.com. I went ahead and did some smart measurements of the uh, EQ1 and posted those up there. Thank you so much.